Good day, my name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey as well as making Edom, Gouda and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Hi, I'm Shai from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened it. Caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's going to change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. Hi.
Matt over at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC, and we have a huge savings for you. Supplier pricing for everyone on all remaining 23 models. Over 50 to choose from. Stop on in and talk to one of our sales consultants today. Hey everybody, Matt over at Wheeler Chevrolet. Culligan Water delivers from your first call, to your first sip, to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Culligan.
tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me! <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here?
Network for Stop Construction. Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good and they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Stop has a, a great benefits package. Stop is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Stop Construction. Apply now at StobCO.com. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry? Same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids.
change, innovation, building something new, and teamwork. The h &S legacy is evolving, and we're carrying it forward, designing equipment that helps farmers get the job done, looking ahead to the future of farming while staying true to the values that have brought us this far and made us who we are today. h &S, strong heritage, strong people, stronger future. Bauer & Fine has been based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Bauer & Fine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. Give us a call, visit our website. We'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. Central Wisconsin Glass is Central Wisconsin's choice for your next new or remodeled shower and bathroom. The experts at Central Wisconsin Glass will effortlessly guide you through the design and installation process. Have the elegant and modern shower and bathroom you've been looking for. Call Central Wisconsin Glass at 715-387-8010. That's 715-387-8010. And Central Wisconsin Glass on Facebook for your residential, commercial, and vehicle glass glass needs. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express Pros.com. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know um, what makes this place special. Come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come and to just to feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with the talent and expertise of big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board-certified periodontists, orthodontists, and pediatric dentists, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for our patients of all ages from 1 to 100. We take pride in being in network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our community and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full-service bike repair center along with top bike brands, Specialized, Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. 
If you're a first time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full time, full service realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. should be at Partners Bank. Banking should be easier, treating our customers as valued and important. Services should be better with online and mobile banking and locations close to where you live and work. Loans should be quicker and we make all decisions locally with years of experience helping people with their financing needs. Partners Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. No matter your path, we've got cutting edge classes with field trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, how can I help you? Scotty's Pizza and Chicken has been voted best pizza in Marshfield 15 years in a row. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken is ready for your call now at 715-384-8118. Choose Drunken Chicken, BLT, Western, Mac and Cheese, Sweet Chili Chicken, and more. Plus, Scotty's has roasted chicken, fish, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, 715-384-8118 and scottyspizza.com. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, how can I help you? At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. I had an employee at once ask me to prioritize family, faith, and business. And I put him in that order in particular. For each one of our employees, it's family first. You do what is best for you and your family. Then the rest of it will take care of itself. It's about making sure you make the best decisions for you and your family. Need a new mattress? All Furniture in downtown Marshfield has mattresses, and you can save like never before. We have stacks of mattresses, save big on factory liquidations, and closeouts, one-of-a-kind items, and mismatched fabrics. Save on special purchases and rollback pricing on two-sided flippable mattresses. Discounts on adjustable bases and even clearance pricing on floor models. The Furniture People for good home furnishings. Mall Furniture, where value is yours. Good day, my name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey as well as making Edam, Gouda and Munster. And the cheese be with you. from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Chai. Chai is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step because it's going to change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. GMC and we have a huge savings for you. Supplier pricing for everyone on all remaining 23 models. Over 50 to choose from. Stop on in and talk to one of our sales consultants today.
delivers. From your first call, to your first sip, to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. <laughs> hey Mike, I'm Sheila from Security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here?
for stop construction. Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good and they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Stab has a, a great benefits package. Stab is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Stab Construction. Apply now at StabCO.com.
feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry? Same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. 2023 was a year of change, innovation, building something new, and teamwork. The h &S legacy is evolving, and we're carrying it forward, designing equipment that helps farmers get the job done, looking ahead to the future of farming while staying true to the values that have brought us this far and made us who we are today. h &S, strong heritage, strong people, stronger future.
based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Brownfine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. Give us a call, visit our website. We'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. Wisconsin's choice for your next new or remodeled shower and bathroom. The experts at Central Wisconsin Glass will effortlessly guide you through the design and installation process. Wisconsin's choice for your next new or remodeled shower and bathroom. The experts at Central Wisconsin Glass will effortlessly guide you through the design and installation process. Have the elegant and modern shower and bathroom you've been looking for. Call Central Wisconsin Glass at 715-387-8010. That's 715-387-8010. And Central Wisconsin Glass on Facebook for your residential, commercial, and vehicle glass needs. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express Pressprose.com.
I am screwed up. I just okay. There you go. You fixed it. Stupid me.
Hello, everyone, and welcome in to 2024 WIAA Boys Basketball live on Zaleski Sports. My name is Caleb Jacoby alongside Isaac Eagle coming to you live from McDonald Central Catholic High School here in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. The McDonald Central Max hosts the Columbus Dons, the number one ranked team in the state of Wisconsin for Division V. Columbus Dons here tonight as this should be a fantastic matchup here tonight. A massive test here for the Dons. These two teams played each other thr once, thr once in the regular season throughout these last few seasons. And for McDonald Central, it doesn't really get as uh, storied. Can't really find a storied of a basketball program, boys or girls really, in recent years than McDonald Central. The Max boys basketball team have made it to the state tournament six of the last eight seasons. And that is uh, pretty difficult to do, to say the least. The Don's an excellent basketball program as well. And we know the last time they've been to state was 2019, looking to make that this year as well. But for McDonald Central, six of the, of the last eight seasons they have been at the state tournament for Division Five. Now, of course, this season, the Max are, have been moved up to Division Four. They've been winning so much in Division Five, they had to get moved up a division to Division Four. This season, though, McDonald Central is 13 and five overall, seven and four in Cloverbelt West Conference play, tied for second place in the Cloverbelt West this season behind Bloomer, who's undefeated at the top of the conference. And for Columbus, they come in at 18-1 overall, that lone loss coming at the WBY shootout at Concordia University to Division Three Brookfield Academy, top 10 team Brookfield Academy in Division Three, 18-1 overall, 11-0 in Cloverbelt East Conference play this season for the Columbus Dons. We're just a minute or so away from opening tip here from McDonald Central Catholic High School. First, in just a moment, we'll send it down to the floor for your national anthem. But it is McDonald Central hosting the Columbus Dons here tonight. We'll take a quick 30 second break back with your national anthem after this on Zaleski Sports. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know um, what makes this place special. But come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come in and to just feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with the talent and expertise of big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board-certified periodontists, orthodontists, and pediatric dentists, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for our patients of all ages from 1 to 100. We take pride in being in-network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our community and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. All right, welcome back, everybody, to McDonald Central Catholic High School. We're going to send it down to the floor for your national anthem.
turned up there. We're just about set to get underway and get down to your starting lineups here for tonight. We will take a look at your starters here tonight. Again, we will start with the Columbus Dons, the road team tonight. They come in at 18-1 overall, 11-0, coached by head coach Joe Konechny. For the Dons, their typical starting lineup, number zero, the senior guard, Emmett Konechny. Also starting at forward, it's the senior number 10, Lucas Kreklau. Starting at guard, number 12, Charlie Moore. Also starting at guard, number 13, the newly, new milestone, new 1,000 point milestone, Blake Jacoby. And finishing out the starting lineup, it is the senior forward, number 25, Cy Becker. So Emmett Konechny, Lucas Kreklau, Charlie Moore, Blake Jacoby, and Cy Becker, the all-senior starting lineup for the Columbus Dons that we have seen ever since Emmett Konechny came back from injury earlier this season. Now for the home team, the McDonald Central Max. For the Max, a younger team, definitely younger than the Columbus Dons. Starting at guard, the 5'11 junior leading scorer for the Max this year, Cooper Mittermeier. And starting at guard, the sophomore, number 20, Kale Holm. Also starting at guard, the junior, number 24, Jordan Sakura. Starting at forward, the 6'3 sophomore, number 33, Carson Galvez. And rounding out the starting lineup, it's the center, six foot four sophomore, number 50, Mason Bussey. So McDonald Central, they will have the size advantage on the Dons with a couple of those starters. You got six foot three, Jordan Sakura, six foot three, Carson Galvez, and six foot four, Mason Bussey. But the Dons with the clear experience advantage the clear upper class, amount of upperclassmen advantage. This McDonald team, a very young team, three sophomores in their starting lineup, two juniors, no seniors. They got a three, four se or three seniors on the bench. But it's the Dons, the number one ranked team in the state of Wisconsin for Division Five, on the road here against the storied basketball program, McDonald Central. Took home the silver ball last season. Didn't mention that to start the game as the Dons win the tip. Again, I was had the pleasure of being at that game when McDonald Central lost to Newman Catholic in the state championship game last season in Division 5. And that is... They've had more than just that silver ball over the last six years. A lot of those. And they won the state championship in 2016. Cy Becker starts things off with two points for the Dons here tonight. Here are the Max. First offensive possession. Bussy on top. Swings it over to Mittermeier. Mittermeier again leads this team in scoring this year, around 12 points per game. Top of the key to Bussy. And Mittermeier. As the Max taking their time here offensively. Dons with a pretty solid defensive possession to start things off. Up and under move, no good. Offensive rebound, no good. Continuing to battle for it. Bussy comes up with it. That was Jordan Socorro with the two misses, but the offensive rebound. And Mason Bussy gets the offensive rebound as well. Again, the Max do have a height advantage. There's no doubt about that. And Bussy, easily the largest human on the floor. Good six foot four, nice size, big man in there. And see if they try to get him the ball. They tried to there, but Kreklau denies it. Don's in their typical 2-3 zone. They typically start games in that 2-3. And that's going to be a turnover for McDonald Central. Their first of the game. Again, I misspoke. Cooper Mittermeier, second on the team in scoring. Leading the team in scoring this season is Kale Holm. My apologies. Do have it in front of me. Kale Holm averaging 13.3 points per game. Cooper Mittermeier is averaging 12.3. And Carson Galvez averages 9.6. So I misspoke earlier when I said Mittermeier led the team in scoring. He is second on the team in scoring behind Kale Holm. Here's a mid-range jump shot from Blake Jacoby. Again, if you watched that Loyal Columbus game last week, Friday, the Dons beat Loyal in a tough game. A uh, very much improved Loyal team from earlier this season. Blake Jacoby passed the 1,000 career points milestone in that game. And there's a quick two points for Carson Galvez. 
And it looks like McDonald Central is dropping back into a 2-3 zone to start this game. And if you've been watching Don's broadcast, you've probably, hear me, you've probably heard me say more than a few times that the Dons have just eaten up zone defenses like they're nothing all season long. We'll see if that continues to be true here tonight. They've just shot the ball so well against the zone this season. They move the ball so crisply. And I have talked about that at length here this season. That's just what it has seemed to be. But tonight the Mac's going to come out in that 2-3 and... The Dons have not gotten an open look from three yet. Here's their first. Blake Jacoby knocks it down. A quick five points for Blake Jacoby, and the Dons lead by five. Back the other way come the Max. Jordan Sakura brings it up. Lost it. Charlie Moore poked it away. Sakura falls to the floor but keeps his dribble. And Charlie Moore pokes it out of bounds. Excellent man-to-man -man defense by Charlie Moore. Again, it's a 2-3 zone, but Charlie Moore just coming out way into the backcourt to defend here. And... Coach Kineshini has told us multiple times this year that Charlie Moore's a lot more than just a shooter. Can defend as well, and he sure is showing that to start this game. And looks like the Don's back in man-to-man -man now. Attacking here is Mittermeier. Mittermeier up top of the key for Galvez. Galvez swings it over to Sikora. Sikora, little jab step. Drive inside. Mittermeier in the corner. Goes baseline. Tough shot. Kreklau rejects it. Mittermeier, the offensive rebound. No good. Kreklau the rebound. What a block there by Lucas Kreklau. And this is a game where the Dons are going up against a team with quite a bit more size than they have. A game where Kreklau is going to have to be big defending on the inside and he knocks down a mid-range jump shot here in the short corner. Lucas Kreklau. Again, the Dons playing well against that 2-3 to start this game. They have not missed a shot yet, which is typically how they start against zone defenses. As that layup up and missed by Kale Holm there. Here the Max the other way. Galvez in the short corner. Swings it up top to Sakura. Sakura right wing back into the corner for Galvez. Up top, Holm attacking baseline. That's Mittermeier. Tough floater, no good. Konechny on the rebound. And now we're going to get a foul on Mittermeier here. The junior is going to pick up his first personal, team second. As the Dons look to extend their seven-point lead. Again, McDonald Central, they got a very, very different team this year. Very young team with a bunch of sophomores and juniors. But last season, they did make it to the state championship game. They have been playing at the Cole Center six of the last eight seasons. Charlie Moore, wide open three, and it is good. The Dons eating this zone defense up early as they have against every zone defense they have seen this season. Mittermeier, top of the key, short on the three. Again, if you are an avid Dons fan, you've been watching our broadcast. I'll finish that thought in a moment. Timeout, McDonald Central. We will take a break. Be back with more 2024 WIAA Boys Basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. The Sports Den, located on Marshfield's sunny south side since 1975. The Sports Den has the area's best selection of outdoor equipment, fine top brands of snowshoes, cross country and downhill skis, snowboards, swimming equipment, skateboards, and more. The Sports Den has a full service bike repair center along with top bike brands, specialized Trek, and others. The Sports Den is Central Wisconsin's fat bike headquarters. Visit the Sports Den in Marshfield Monday through Saturday and thesportsden.net. Hello, I'm Jenny Shaner, Realtor, Next Home Hub City. If you're a first time home buyer or seller, or you've been around the block, because of my experience, I'm able to help you in the most efficient way. I'm a full time, full service Realtor. I focus on my clients 100%. Let's work together as a team for a win in your next real estate transaction. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back everybody. 12 to 2, your score here as the Columbus Dons take a look at some McDonald Central fans enjoying the action here tonight. But the Columbus Dons, and just like that, McDonald Central's in a man to man defense here. Pick and roll, that'll be a turnover for Columbus. Right on cue, or excuse me, that went out of bounds off of the max there. Nice pick and roll set up there by Konechny and Kreklau, though. And again, it's, I, I, I talk about it so much because it just continues to ring true every single game with these Dons. 
you play zone defense, especially a 2-3, they just eat it up, and Kreklau misses an open three there. If you're McDonald Central, that's the guy you, you, you gotta leave somebody open, and that'd be the guy you'd leave open from three if you're McDonald Central. Kreklau can hit those, though. He can hit those when he's open. But if you gotta choose between all these dons, that's who you'd rather leave open if you are McDonald Central. That three no good from Kale Holm. Don's the other way. Konechny up top. Matt Konechny open for three, and it's good. Now these Max struggling to get back on defense on that possession. Matt Konechny knocks down the three. 15-2 Columbus as they have just jumped out all over these Max here to start this game. And again, when, when teams start out in zone defense against these Dons, it's usually what happens. They go the first six minutes of the game without missing a shot, which they nearly have tonight. Missed just one shot. They are six for seven from the field tonight. They were 100% from the field against that zone defense, five for five. Now we got a whistle and a foul gonna be called on the floor here against Columbus. That'll go, looks like on Charlie Moore. Charlie Moore picks up his first personal, team first. Can the Dons, look like they're still in their two, three zone. And they've played that pretty effectively. The Dons a lot of times will start out in that 2-3 in the first half, and then a lot of times you'll see them shift to a man-to-man -man in the second half. Sometimes they'll just stick with that 2-3 all game, but Grant Smiskey up top swings it over to Mittermeyer. Mittermeyer back up to Smiskey. Left wing home. As the Max just look to work their offense here and try to get some offense going. They scored. And one possession against this 2-3 earlier, they were able to get it inside to Carson Galvez, and he got a little jump hook to go. There's a wide open three, no good, from Jordan Sakura. Konechny brings it up. And Konechny gonna pull up for three, no pass, and just launches it, no good. It's the Max the other way. And you'll rarely see that from the Dons, a possession without a pass and a shot going up, but that time Emmett Thought he had a good look and tried it, just short on it. That layup up and good, count it, and one. For Jordan Sakura. Sakura will head to the free throw line for one more. And a foul goes on Sam Dooms. Sam Dooms is wearing 35. When these gray uniforms comes out, come out, Sam Dooms doesn't have 24, so he's gotta, he's gotta wear 35 as Jordan Sakura converts the end one. He's got three points early on. 15 to five, Columbus. Sam Dooms, right wing. Kicks it up top for Matt Konechny. Konechny, right wing three for Charlie Moore. It's short. Now we got a whistle and he goes out of bounds. Possession goes to McDonald Central. The Max take it down by 10 here. As the Dons start to put on a little bit of full court pressure here. They hadn't put that on really all game. They've, they've liked to do that at times this year. Just put on kind of a soft full court pressure in that 2-2-1. Two, two, and here's a left wing three. It's too strong, no good from Holm. And it's the Dons back the other way. Holm's looking for his first points of the game. Konechny up top to Jacoby. Jacoby, a little jab step, attacks into the corner for Dooms. And Dooms think a valuable guy to have when you're playing against a team that He's got more size than you do. Emma Kinesh, that's a tough shot, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two free throws. Wait, 33, 33 on the shot. Foul called on Carson Galvez, his first personal team third here tonight. And Emmett Kinechny heads for the first time to your Serve Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Serve Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Serve Pro like it never even happened. Emmett Kinechny knocks down the first. Cy Becker checks in for Sam Dooms, and again, now that McDonald Central's playing that man-to-man, -man, you're seeing the Dons attack the rim a little bit more. Again, we talked with Blake Jacoby after that Dons win against Loyal about kind of how they have to adjust their offensive uh, strategy against the man-to-man -man in zone, because it, it, it really is a totally different, it's a totally different thing offensively when you're going against a 2-3 zone compared to a man-to-man. -man. It's man-to-man, -man, you, you have to, an open shot, you almost have a lower expectation or a lower standard for what an open shot is sometimes against a man-to-man -man 
Attacking the rim with a slightly contested layup usually is a good shot against the man-to-man, -man, whereas a 2-3 zone when you're playing against, you're really looking to get really good, clean looks all the time. You're always looking to get clean looks, but 2-3 zone, you can sometimes get them a little bit more, a little bit more space to work with. Here's a left wing three. It's up and good from Jordan Sakura. Sakura's got six points now for these Max. Quickly ahead here to Alex Edwards. Again, these Dons, they had a 10-point lead. That, that's not big enough against a team as good as McDonald Central, but Emmett Konechny knocks down the three. Gets an open look off the screen, and Konechny now with five points. Again, McDonald Central not in our rankings right now. They're 13-5. and five. Again, this is a very young basketball team this season for these Max, but again, when you have the history, the recent history that these Max do in terms of how often they make it to the state tournament and make it to the state title game. You never want to relax against a team like that. Again, this team under Coach Schilling has just been fantastic in recent years. And Don, or excuse me, they turn it over there. Cy Becker, no one defends him, and he's going to attack the rim instead here. I'm very surprised Cy Becker didn't shoot that. He's, he can shoot threes, and maybe that was one where Cy thought he was just too open. Sometimes you can think you're too open on the floor, and that, that was it. He, he thought about three, hesitated. Still no one came out to guard him. But Cy if McDonald Central does that all game, Cy Becker will make them pay, or at least he typically does. Cy Becker is most dangerous when he's attacking the basket, but if you leave him open for three, he will hit it. Becker to inbound. Gets it in to Moore. Moore in the post now for Becker. Again, McDonald Central sticking in that man-to-man -man now. Looks like they're switching most, if not all, screens. Charlie Moore, left wing. Gets it into Becker. Becker, the spin move, tough shot, no good for Cy Becker. That was well defended that time by, by Grant Smiskey. Here's the left wing three. No good. And looks like number 33, that is Scarsa, and that layup up and good from Elijah Stepp. Elijah Stepp scores for the first time tonight as Galvez missed on the earlier three. Edwards attacking the basket. Floater up, no good. Battle for the rebound. The Max have it with numbers the other way. Another layup up and good for Elijah Stepp. He's got four points. An eight-point game here. Dons lead it 20 to 12. Matt Konechny tries to hand off to Cy Becker, but turned over. Mittermeier comes up with a steal. And just like that, some more numbers here for the Max in transition. Left wing three is up, short. Battle for the board, tipped out. Mittermeier finds it. He attacks. Runner up, no good. Alex Edwards the rebound. And again, you can see these Max starting to get a little bit more life, a little bit more juice in their legs here with a couple of scores in a row. As Jacoby attacks into Edwards in the corner. Becker up top. Becker back to Jacoby. He tries the right wing three, and it's good. Blake Jacoby from downtown. That's what makes this Don's team so difficult to defend. I mean, every single player on the court right now, you have to defend at the three-point line coming off of screens. There's not a player out there that can't make you pay if you leave him open for three. Alex Edwards. Can shoot the three ball. Cy Becker can, Matt Konechny can, and we know what Blake Jacoby and Charlie Moore can do from out there. Attacking here, good lane, kick to the corner. Mittermeier's got his first open look of the night, and he knocks it down. Cooper Mittermeier, a good junior perimeter player for this McDonald Central team, knocks down the three, and the Dons. Now up by just eight here. Jacoby in the corner for Moore. Up top, Becker. Becker over to Edwards, right wing. Thought about the three, attacks the rim. Layup is no good from Alex Edwards. That's one he's going to want back. Good decision there by Edwards. Little pump fake. Layup was there. Step in the corner, lost the ball. Matt Konechny comes up with a steal. And that really has been Max. Major role with this team this year is trying to force turnovers. Timeout Columbus. We'll take a quick break. Be back with more 2024 WIAA Boys Basketball right after this on Zaleski Sports.
We know how a bank should be at Partners Bank. Banking should be easier. Treating our customers is valued and important. Services should be better with online and mobile banking and locations close to where you live and work. Loans should be quicker and we make all decisions locally with years of experience helping people with their financing needs. Partners Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Welcome back, everybody, as we have a live look on some Columbus Dons fans there enjoying the action there in the visiting adults fan section over there. Let's get a good amount of Dons fans on hand here tonight, especially for an hour, about an hour and a half drive. I know we got a lot watching at home. Glad to have you in here on a Tuesday night from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin at McDonald Central Catholic High School. Emmett Kanishny lost his dribble, finds his brother Mack on the right wing. Pass inside here to Becker. He just backs in and bullies his way to the basket. Side Becker with four points now, and that was a grown man move right there from Side Becker. Gets the ball, feels the defender on his back, and just backs him underneath the basket. And that is, again, I, I feel like the more the season goes on, that, that can be an X factor for this Don's team, especially with Cy Becker. He's got that ability to just score and finish at the rim. If he can back these defenders down and attack the rim against the man-to-man -man defense, this Don's offense really, really is going to be difficult to stop. Up top here, attacking the rim, Grant Smiskey. Kick outside, Mittermeier is going to go baseline. Brings it back outside, up top for Smiskey. Smiskey swings it over to Sakura. Now in the corner for Step. Up top, the three, up and good. Carson Galvez from downtown. He's got a five points for these Max here tonight. Seven point Don's lead. Konechny takes the ball screen. Attacks here, fade away, fall away shot is good. What a shot there from Emmett Konechny. And he's got that shot in his arsenal. He's proven this season as well. Seven points for him, Cy Becker the steal and the breakaway layup, he's tripped. And he'll head to the line for two free throws. An unintentional trip there, as it looked like Jordan Sakura was trying to go up to block the shot, but he just slipped and fell right underneath side Becker. Good to see both those guys are all right. Those can be dangerous plays. Oh, and they're going to say no shot on the floor. Called on Jordan Sakura there. So no free throws coming up for side Becker. Just an inbound here. Charlie Moore into Emmett Konechny. Konechny attacks the basket, steps through two defenders, misses the layup. And Emmett wants that one back. Good look and a good move there from Emmett Konechny, but doesn't finish. Corner three is good. Carson Galvez from downtown. He's got eight points. Tied with Blake Jacoby to lead all scorers here tonight. Emmett Konechny brings it back up, and this is just a six-point game now. Konechny up top to Kreklau. Kreklau outside for Moore. Moore hands off to Becker, takes the ball screen from Kreklau. Becker tried to find Kreklau there. A dangerous pass, and it's a turnover. And that was a risky pass for Becker. He was trying to thread the needle to Kreklau. And you can tell Coach Konechny was not happy with that decision. 27-21 Columbus. It is McDonald Central basketball here as Smiskey brings it up. And also stay tuned for your halftime. Got some updates with... Uh, WIAA seedings as well as some uh, exciting news, I think. Exciting content up from Zaleski Sports as well regarding those seedings. Have that coming up for you at halftime. Top of the key, that's a good look from three, and it is down. Grant Smiskey knocks it down from the top of the key, and these McDonald Central Max are feeling it now. They've cut it down to three points. The Dons lead, Moore takes it, attacks, kicks out to Emmett Konechny. Konechny thought about the three, he's called for the travel. Referee said his left foot came off the floor. And I don't, Emmett didn't think so, and it, it was close. It was very close. His left foot may have still been on the floor, but referee says nope, it came up a bit. And it's a travel. Mittermeier brings it up. The Max have a chance to take the lead here with a three, or excuse me, tie the game with a three, and they'll try to. Holm, no good on it. Battle for the rebound. I think Kreklau may get called here. No, they're going to get Bussy on the foul. Mason Bussy picks up his first, fifth, or excuse me, sixth team foul for the Max. 
and it's the Dons back the other way. Konechny brings it up. The Dons starting lineup in the game right now. Konechny has his three blocked out of bounds, and oh, they say it just came off his hand. Let's say out of bounds off Columbus. They say Konechny just airballed that. That, that must have just came off his hand wrong somehow because that was not even close. For a shooter as good as Konechny, that must, something must have happened there where his hand got mixed up somewhere, but nonetheless, it's Mac basketball. And Blake Jacoby fights for the jump ball there, and he's got it. Possession stays with McDonald Central. And we've been talking about this game. I've been kind of hinting at it for a couple of weeks here. This is going to be a game to circle on the calendar, and we have been in for a good one so far. Right wing, Mittermeier. Up top for Smiskey. In and out. Battle for the board. Charlie Moore comes up with it. This that would have been a massive shot if Smiskey was able to knock that one down. Konechny attacks into the corner. Stolen away by Holm. Four turnovers for the Dons. Mittermeier the other way. Hands off to Smiskey. Back up top here to Holm. Holm in the corner for Galvez. Charlie Moore pokes it away, and he's fouled. Probably a smart foul there from Grant Smiskey just to prevent Charlie Moore from getting an easy breakaway layup. Charlie Moore has really had a solid, probably more than a solid defensive game so far tonight. Bonus free throw, single bonus coming up for Charlie Moore now as Matt Konechny will check in for Cy Becker. Again, the Dons, they don't like to work out of the post much at all, but... I just get the feeling, again, against some of these man-to-mans, you've got Cy Becker has just proven he's got the ability to work in the post a little bit, to work on the inside, and again, it's not what they do. It's, it's not something they've done all year is going to post. That is not something they go to. Sometimes they'll go to Kreklau in there. He doesn't necessarily have a size advantage tonight, but Becker's really the guy with that the interior scoring ability, and if the Dons might go to that a little bit more, or... 29-24, Columbus leads as Charlie Moore goes two for two from the free throw line. Smiskey up top, swings it over here to Mittermeier. Mittermeier defended by Jacoby, the 2-3 zone from the Dons. Jacoby and Matt Konechny at the top of it. Right wing here, Smiskey, these Max content holding the ball for a little while here. Smiskey defended by Jacoby. Smiskey back up top here for Galvez. Back to Smiskey. And McDonald Central gonna, just going to wait till they get a good shot here. Not going to rush anything up there. Into the corner for Mittermeier. High post, Galvez. Jump shot is good. Carson Galvez for two. He's got ten points. And, and that's exactly why I've talked about at length. There's no point in forcing bad shots when there's no shot clock. You do what McDonald Central just did right there. Move the ball until you find a good look. Kreklau tries the mid-range jump shot. No good. Back the other way come the Max. Mittermeier brings it up. Swings it up top for Galvez. Galvez right wing to Holm. Holm attacks. Back outside for Galvez. Now into the corner for Mittermeier. Mittermeier, Jacoby defending. He attacks, lost the ball for a moment. Able to poke it out to his teammate Smiskey. Smiskey's losing it. Smiskey's still losing it. Jacoby he comes up with it, and he traveled with it. And Jacoby that time. And, the, and Coach Connection doesn't like the call. I don't think he thought, I think he feels that Jacoby didn't really have possession of the ball, and he probably didn't. Again, that's a, that, that's a call where if you're at the NBA level, you're not going to see that call, but it's, this is not the NBA. In high school, they typically are very strict with that travel call, and that's going to do it for the first half. 29-26, Columbus leads McDonald Central in a back-and-forth battle here in this first half. Don's had the lead early. McDonald Central comes back. Three-point game. We'll take a break. Be back to break down this first half of action and also talk a little bit about some uh, seating information we've got for you right after this on Zaleski Sports. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. 
No matter your path, we've got cutting-edge classes with field-trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, how can I help you? Scotty's Pizza and Chicken has been voted best pizza in Marshfield 15 years in a row. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken is ready for your call now at 715-384-8118. Choose Drunken Chicken, BLT, Western, Mac and Cheese, Sweet Chili Chicken, and more. Plus, Scotty's has roasted chicken, fish, sandwiches, salads, and desserts. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, 715-384-8118 and scottyspizza.com. Scotty's Pizza and Chicken, how can I help you? At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man-made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any kitchen, bathroom, or remodel need. We are locally owned and operated on County Road C near Stratford. We service all of Wisconsin. I had an employee at once ask me to prioritize family, faith, and business, and I put them in that order in particular. For each one of our employees, it's family first. You do what is best for you and your family. Then the rest of it will take care of itself. It's about making sure you make the best decisions for you and your family. All right, welcome back, everybody, as we get set. Well, we got a few minutes left. Shouldn't say get set to start the second half. We got about eight minutes till the second half starts. But here during this halftime, I wanted to let everybody know that got some updates on when we're going to see. If you didn't already know, when you will see seeds released for hockey, playoff seeds have already been released by the WIAA. But for basketball, girls basketball seeding will be seeds. Playoff seeds will be released on February 11th at 11 a.m. And that will be this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. For boys, it will be next Sunday, February 18th at 11 a.m. Seedings will be released. And I bring that up. Because, for those of you that don't know, our rankings, you see the little number one, Columbus fans should know at this point, but you see the little number one ranking there by Columbus, the number one ranked team in Division 5 here this season. That is not a poll of coaches, that is not an opinion poll, that is a math-based, fact-based poll that takes into account winning percentages as well as opponent win percentages, which is about exactly what the WIAA computer system uh, takes into account for their playoff seating. And I bring that up because if you go to ZaleskiSports.com slash VIP and subscribe for $5 per month to Zaleski Sports, become a VIP for Zaleski Sports, just $5 a month, you will get to see our entire playoff projections. I believe the girls' basketball seating projections are up, boys' basketball potentially as well. And, yes, they both are. Girls' and boys' basketball seed projections are both up on the website. So here's a little fun fact as well. In the past, we've been doing this ranking system since 2020. They have been 98% accurate since 2020 when we come out with these projections. So if you don't want to wait till February 11th to see the girls' seedings or February 18th to see the boys' seedings, take a look at our projections because in the past they are 98% effective, and that is because we use the exact same algorithm or near exact same algorithm, the best of our knowledge, as the WIAA uses to determine the seeds when once the postseason comes around. And the reason it's 98% is because we come out with these a couple of weeks in advance, about a week or so in advance. So you could have games, right? The games that are going to be played this week would obviously change that if, let's say, one of the top teams gets upset or something like that. That may change what the seeds are. Are. But again, you look at our, ra our ranking system, of course you have teams like Columbus and Potosi are both in the same sectional this season, so they will, they of course will not both be number one seeds, they're in the same sectional, they'll be likely one and two, Columbus and Potosi, because um, they're in the same sectional, but again, if you look at the orderings of our rankings, and you can go to ZaleskiSports.com slash VIP to see weekly rankings every single week, and also now that are live, our playoff seed projections for girls and boys basketball which have been 98% effective or excuse me 98% accurate 
um, over these last three years. So it's all but telling you what the playoff seeds are going to look like a week or two before they even come out. If you'd like to see that, $5 a month at ZaleskiSports.com slash VIP. Go check it out. We're going to break down this first half in just a moment. We're going to take another break. Be back to break down this first half of action after this on Zaleski Sports. Need a new mattress? All furniture in downtown Marshfield has mattresses, and you can save like never before. We have stacks of mattresses, save big on factory liquidations and closeouts, one-of-a-kind items, and mismatched fabrics. Save on special purchases and rollback pricing on two-sided flippable mattresses. Discounts on adjustable bases and even clearance pricing on floor models. The furniture piece. For good home furnishings, small furniture where value is yours. Good day, my name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fedecaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Hi, I'm Shad from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shy. Shy is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step because it's going to change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. Hey everybody, Nat over at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC, and we have a huge saving for you. Supplier pricing for everyone on all remaining 23 models. Over 50 to choose from. Stop on in and talk to one of our sales consultants today. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. Hey Mike, I'm Sheila from Security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? All right, welcome back everybody here into our halftime show. About a couple, two minutes away from getting this second half started, but first let's hear from our friends over at SC Swiderski. And SCS apartment or home is where you want to live, work, and play all throughout central Wisconsin, the Chippewa Valley, and the Fox Valley. No matter where you live, look to SC Swiderski to make you feel right at home. Visit scswiderski.com for more and sports scene. In Marshfield is your official fan wear store for player jerseys, hats, autographed memorabilia, and more. Sports scene up the stairs from World Buffet in the Marshfield Mall. And Stop Construction is a premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Stop Construction has been partnering with private and public customers since 1984. Stop Construction has its own service and fabrication department to assist with any municipal or industrial situation. Stop Construction, a 100% employee-owned company. The Dons lead 29-26 to 26 over McDonald Central here in this first half, leading the way scoring-wise for the Dons in that first half was Blake Jacoby. He's got eight points. He's three for three from the field so far, and for the McDonald Central Max, the scoring leader for the game is Carson Galvez. He's got 10 points on four of five shooting from the field. We're going to take another quick 30-second break. Back to start your second half right after this on Zaleski Sports. Why work for Stop Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good. And they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Stop has a, a great benefits package. Stop is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance and everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Stob Construction. Apply now at stobco.com. Good 
Welcome back, everybody. We're just about set to get underway here in this second half of play. The Columbus Dons lead the McDonald Central Max 29-26. Ag Country Farm Credit Services is a farmer-owned co-op offering a wide array of custom financing and financial services from loans and leases to crop insurance and tax and records. They have you covered. Contact Ag Country in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford. Don's ball to start this second half, and it has been a tight back and forth first half. The Dons were up by as many as 12 points there in that first half. McDonald Central comes back. Charlie Moore, wide open three to start this second half. And if Charlie Moore gets that open, almost certainly he's going to knock it down, and he does there. Eight points in the game now for Charlie Moore. Don's lead it by six. Swing over into the corner now for Sikora. Sikora had a nice scoring first half there as well at six points, especially early on there in that first half for these Max. Handoff outside to Mittermeyer. Jacoby battles for it, and Holm comes up with it. Bussy up top. Left wing for Galvez. Galvez up top to Holm. Holm swings it back over to Sikora. Sikora, Moore defends him. Up top here to Bussy. Mittermeyer going baseline. Going to reset up at the top of the key for home. And again, these Max, they're not going to rush offensively. It's one of the, it's really one of the common traits of typically well-coached teams. So when you see teams not rush up bad shots, as Holm got a decent look there. And man, that actually was a pretty tough shot from Kale Holm. His first points of the night, Kale Holm for three. And again, that's something you got to feel good if you're the Max as well. You were down by only three, and your leading score for the season didn't have any points. Krecklau misses on the inside. The Max back the other way. Holm to Mittermeier. Holm, wide open, right wing three, and it's good. Kale Holm has found his rhythm here in the second half, and we are tied up at 32. We have a good one on our hands here tonight. Jacoby outside to Konechny. He tries the three, in and out. Back the other way come the Max. Over to the right wing for Galvez. Holm now attacks from the corner. Holm to the basket. Charge is the call on the floor. Lucas Krecklau draws it. As Kale Holm picks up his second personal. Team first. Again, we talked with Coach Konechny after I believe it was the Owen Withy game about the Dons trying to draw so many charges and and he talked about just getting in the right position defensively, and, and he mentioned it. Blake Jacoby and Lucas Kreklau especially just have a knack for drawing charges defensively. Jacoby in the short corner now for Kreklau. Kreklau over to Moore, back to the corner for Cy Becker. Right wing for Kreklau. Up top here to Jacoby. Little ball screen, bounce pass into Kreklau. Layup up and good. What a great find there by Blake Jacoby. Pass was a little low, but again, it was probably the only place he could get it through. A pocket pass there from Blake Jacoby sets up Lucas Krecklau for two. And here's a nice pass from Mittermeier, setting up his teammate Mason Bussey for two. Mittermeier with the assist, Bussey for two, 34-34 your score. Konechny outside, Krecklau tries another three, that's no good. Krecklau. Be more aggressive than normal offensively here tonight. He's hit a couple of those mid-range shots. Or one from the inside and one mid-range shot, I should say. And off here to Mittermeier. And McDonald Central has a chance to take their first lead of the game here. Galvez outside. Attacks the basket. Bounce it off his own foot. Mittermeier picks it up. Swing over to the right wing for Sakura. Sakura short corner to Holm. Holm is fouled by Konechny. Emmett Konechny picks up his first personal. Team first. That's only the Don's second foul of the entire game. At least according to my book. Bussy checks out. Grant Smiskey checks in. Mittermeier to inbound. Gets it in to Galvez. Galvez hands off to Holm. Holm lost it for a moment. Jacoby playing tough defense on him and pokes it out of bounds. And the Dons, they play a 2-3 zone, but it's not a relaxed 2-3 that just sits back and 
it's a pretty high ball pressure two three zone is now they're in a man to man here to start the second half and again that's kind of what we've seen this season they'll start in that two three in the first half then in the second half they'll switch to a man to man pass over here Garvez attacks the basket count it and one for Carson Galvez or no, on the floor. Yep, on the floor, so not and one. Just a foul gonna be called on Blake Jacoby there. Blake Jacoby tried to step in and draw the charge, but picks up the blocking call. But no shot for Garvez. So Jacoby's first, team second. Sakura up top, the swing over to Mittermeier. Mittermeier inside to Sakura, back out to Mittermeier. Back into the high post for Sakura. Sakura attacks, tough fadeaway shot, he's fouled. Sakura heading to the line for two. Side backer doesn't like the call, but he'll pick, it, he'll pick up his first personal foul, team third. As Sakura goes to the line for two, misses the first, this would this would be the max first lead of the game if he were to make a free throw here, and he does. And McDonald Central has taken the lead for the first time tonight. They were down double digits in the first half, and they now lead by one. Jacoby, right wing, hands off here for Konechny. Konechny back out to Mac. Konechny looking to go baseline. Mac attacks and short on the layup. And I think a good decision, though, by Max. He tries to keep the ball alive, possession alive. But no good on the finish. And we said it coming into this game. No matter what the records say, no matter what the rankings say, and the math tells us Columbus is the top team in Division 5, no matter what that says, this McDonald Central team, you know they're, when you've got a coach and Coach Schilling that's led you to six state tournament appearances in eight years, that's never a team you can overlook, no matter how young they are. And they are 13 and five this year. This is a good basketball team, even this season, even with how young they are. Into the corner here, Holm, the corner three. He knocks it down, a four point lead for the Max, as Kale Holm has hit three straight threes in this second half. Nine points for Holm, Blake Jacoby attacks, he's fouled. And that'll be called on the floor. The Don's facing some adversity here, and this really, and again, they've, they've faced some adversity from teams like Loyal last game, some where they've played them tough. Nielsville played them tough for a little, but they wound up winning by 20. This is a game on the road. This is a test for these Don's late in the season. This really is against a team that regularly goes to state as Cy Becker attacks the basket for two. Again, that's something I think the Dons need more of. They just need, Cy Becker is the best finisher at the rim on this basketball team. That is something I think they need, is Cy Becker to attack the rim a little bit more. We're going to take a break, be back with more 2024 WIAA Boys Basketball after this on Zaleski Sports. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Fleet Farm. Pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof. From all the brands you trust, dogs or cats, they've got you covered. Shop your pet's everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. And thanks to our game day sponsors, Hawkins, Ash, Drexler, Transport, Woodfield Inn and & Suites, and Rem's Funeral Home. But again, talking before the break there, and Cy Becker to start this season was really being aggressive, attacking the basket. And again, you've got Emmett back in the lineup. Tough to have everybody scoring, but as Holm, what a move, misses the lay-in, finishes up and good from Carson Galvez. Man, I could talk about ways the Dons can improve or what they might be able to do, but the fact of the matter is these Max are playing excellent basketball right now. That is why they are ahead in this game. Simple as that. Now we got a foul on the floor here. I didn't see the number called against the Max, though. I think it may have been 24. But Smisky's going to check out of the game, and Elijah Stepp will come in for him. 40 to 36, McDonald Central leads it. Moore in the corner. Moore up top to Jacoby. Jacoby with a lane to the basket. That's a tough finish up and good for Blake Jacoby. 
He's got 10 points, has not missed a shot yet, has Blake Jacoby. A two-point game, and Blake Jacoby, as this season has gone along as well, he is, and he has been an unbelievable finisher for these Dons as well. Charlie Moore comes up with his third steal of the game. In transition, Moore attacks. Tough finish, foul on the floor, no shot. A whistle, foul called against the Max. It'll be on Carson Galvez, his second personal team fourth. Don's ball down by two here. Again, I think these Don's, when they get when they go downhill and start attacking the basket against man to man, it just seems like they they're a little bit better off. They got a little bit, it builds a little bit of an edge in you as, a, as an offense as well when you can finish those tough shots. Kinesini lost it there. Becker up top. Swings it over to Moore here. Moore short corner for Konechny. Konechny up top to Emmett. Becker thought about the three, attacks the basket instead, and what a finish from Cy Becker. Defender tried to draw the charge, but Cy Becker fades away a bit and somehow gets that one to go. Cy Becker showing off, showing off his finishing ability here. That shot up no good from Jordan Sikora. He's gonna want that one back. That was a that was an open look in transition. Nobody picked him up. Konechny hands off to Becker here. Inside, Moore, the lay-in, no good. Battle for the board, the Max have it. Holm the other way, out of bounds, turnover, possession goes to the Dons. Seventh turnover for McDonald Central here tonight. Dons with five, just a slight advantage for the Dons. The turnover battle. 40 to 40, your score. Emmett Konechny brings it up. Moore takes the ball screen. Konechny in the corner for Jacoby at short. Good look, though, from Blake Jacoby on the drive from Emmett Konechny. Sakura. Coach Konechny is looking for a travel on that. Doesn't get the call. Right wing here, Sakura. Up top for Holm. Holm in the corner to Mittermeier. Mittermeier up top to Galvez. Galvez swings it over to Step. Step to the basket. Charge. Lucas Krecklau, or excuse me, Cy Becker draws the charge. Eliza, Elijah Step picks up his first personal. Cy Becker draws the charge. Again, Cy Becker, a couple great finishes in this game. Draws a charge there. Again, in the NC's man-to-man -man defenses, I'll, I'll continue to say it. Cy Becker's got the skill set. Make things happen. Emma Kanishny too strong on that three. Hasn't quite found the, rit the rhythm from out there tonight. Mittermeier in transition for two. Cooper Mittermeier and Coach Kanishny wants a timeout. McDonald Central leads it 42 to 40. We'll take a break. Back after this on Zaleski Sports. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry? Same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. It's a new year and a new you at Blues Hair Studio on North Central Avenue in Marshfield. The stylists at Blues Hair Studio are ready to help you be the best version of yourself. Book your appointment for a fresh start in 2024 at Blues Hair Studio in Marshfield. Blake Jacoby attacking the basket here. Can't talk about Cy Becker with the ability to attack the basket. Man, Blake Jacoby against these man-to-man -man defenses these last couple games has been excellent attacking the rim as well. Couple spin moves here, and now we got a whistle and a foul going to be called on Mittermeier. And Coach Schilling, I don't think he liked that call. Again, that was, it was pretty close. That, that was pretty close whether it was a foul or not. It looked like pretty good defense, but Charlie Moore attacks here, and Charlie Moore with a good lane to the basket. He scores at the rim, and I think, again, yeah, what you're seeing with the Dons, and I think they're realizing it as you see them attacking the basket so much more now as the Dons really applying the full court pressure. Three on two here for the Max. Corner three from Galvez, no good. Out of that timeout, Coach Konechny applying, having his team apply a lot of full court pressure there. Mack to the basket. And McDonald Central wanted to travel there. May have had an argument for it, but they turn it over anyways. Layup up and good. 
from Jordan Sakura. Again, you see from these dons attacking the basket more. I think these teams, they they, they watch these dons play, and I think they might come into the with, with a game plan of when they play man-to-man, -man, just guard them and make sure they can't get threes off, force them to attack the rim, and the dons really got to prove that they can. And that's a big step for the dons to put it on film as Mittermeier picks up his third personal. I think they have done it to an extent the last couple games, but I think it's important for the dons to put on film that they can attack the rim and score at the rim if you allow them to. If you play them too tight a three-point line, I think the Dons need to prove that they can score at the basket. And I think we, if you're a Dons fan and you watch their games, they have the skill to do it. But I think it's important for them to keep going to that well and just show teams and show themselves maybe as well that if the defense suggests it, they can attack the rim and score at the rim at will as well as shoot the three. Jacoby knocks down the first free throw. Your Surf Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Surf Pro, like it never even happened. 12 points on the night for Blake Jacoby. Leads all Columbus scorers tonight. Nathan Nemitz into the game for the first time here for the Dons. And if you're McDonald Central, even though Nemitz hasn't been in tonight, if you're a Dons fan, you know Nemitz can nail open shots as well as anybody as well. Even contested shots, but two points there for Kale Holm. Holm has got 11 second half points. He's been the driving force to, in the second half. Blake Jacoby attacks the rim. And now you're seeing it with the Dons. They are relentlessly attacking the rim, and I, I think that's got to be the way to go here for Columbus against this man-to-man. -man. When you play such tight man-to-man, -man, the weakness of it is you've got to be quick enough to stop them driving to the rim. I think too often the Dons sometimes let teams off the hook a little bit with those jump shots, and now you're really seeing them attack the basket and just prove that they can. That goes out of bounds. Possession goes to the Dons. Mittermeier slow to get up here, and hopefully he's all right. He tried to draw a charge there. There was no call, and he's just trying to walk that off. And I don't want to speculate, but somewhere it looked like he may have gotten hit, and his reaction, he may have taken one in a spot you don't want to get hit in, place you don't want to get hit in. I'll just leave it at that. Emmett Konechny attacking the basket here. Sidebacker wide open off the screen. Emmett doesn't see him. He attacks instead and scores. And there's Emmett Konechny getting in on the rack attack here in the second half for the Dons. Mittermeier up to Sakura, Up to Holm. 48-46. McDonald Central with the lead. Or 48-46, the Dons have the lead, correct? That's what we have, right? Yeah, we have 48. I, that's what I thought it was. I think they gave two points to the wrong team on that shot. I mean, I trust Isaac to have the score correct, and I believe it was 46-46. That's going to be a travel on the max. I mean, Coach Connection, he hasn't noticed yet, but I'm on the scoreboard here in the gym, they've got, and now we've got to switch. Now they switched it. On the scoreboard in the gym, they had... They had the max up 48-46, but now they've switched it, and the Dons are up 48-46. That is correct, and we've got it right up here. Isaac's on top of it. Blake Jacoby, top of the key, swings it over to Matt Konechny. Mack up top to Emmett. Emmett swings it over to Nemitz. Nemitz to Becker. Becker with a lane to the rim. He goes up with a tough finish up and good, Side Becker. Ten points for Side Becker tonight. And you have seen since that last time out for the Dons, a little bit more full court pressure. And other than that, offensively, they are just relentlessly attacking the basket. They're not even really looking at the three point line right now. It is, we're coming off these screens. We are attacking the rim at will. That is what you're seeing here in this, here, since that timeout from the Dons. Mittermeier scores, no whistle. Timeout, McDonald Central. What a finish there though from Cooper Mittermeier. And he is taking a beating right now. Mittermeier just battling through right now. He's got seven points. 
Hopefully he's all right. We're going to take a break. Be back after this on Zaleski Sports. Central Wisconsin Glass is Central Wisconsin's choice for your next new or remodeled shower and bathroom. The experts at Central Wisconsin Glass will effortlessly guide you through the design and installation process. Have the elegant and modern shower and bathroom you've been looking for. Call Central Wisconsin Glass at 715-387-8010. That's 715-387-8010. And Central Wisconsin Glass on Facebook for your residential, commercial, and vehicle glass needs. Bauer and Fine has been based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Bauer and Fine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. Give us a call, visit our website. We'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. Mutual of Wausau Insurance, protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutualofwausau.com to find an agent near you. Columbus leads McDonald Central 50 of 48 in an excellent game here tonight. Emmett Konechny attacks the rim and scores. And again, you just it is just evident, clear, and obvious the Don's mentality is different when it comes to attacking the rim. They're no longer just driving to pass out for threes. They're attacking the rim with the intent on, I am scoring this basketball at the rim. Now, there's a clear mindset change in this second half or towards the end of the second half for these Dons, but an and one on the other side for Carson Galvez, and he's had a heck of a night tonight. Carson Galvez with an and one opportunity. And see if they got the foul on there. Again, we're not on the side of the scores table tonight. It's more difficult to see, and we're not hearing announcements. But Carson Galvez will head to the line for one more. He's got 14 points with that make. And Galvez knocks down the free throw. He's got 15, leads all scores. Don's ball the other way. Konechny brings it up. Konechny attacks, lost the ball, he's fouled. They're going to get... They get Grant Smiskey here, his third personal. Team eighth, and we've got one and one free throws coming up here for Emmett Konechny. Find your next career path with just a phone call to Express Employment Professionals with locations in Wausau, Stevens Point, and Marshfield. No matter where you are in central Wisconsin, save yourself some time and find your next employer at ExpressPros.com. Konechny knocks down the free throw. He's got another one. The Viaduct Bar and Grill of Marshfield serves juicy half-pound burgers daily. The Viaduct Bar and Grill is also home to cold drinks and fish fry Friday. The Viaduct Bar and Grill on Marshfield's fabulous northwest side. Konechny goes two for two from the line there. He's got six points in the second half at seven in the first, 13 total. Holm brings it up the other way here for the Max. He has, he's got 11 points in this second half for these Max. Left wing here for Sakura in the corner now for Mittermeier. Mittermeier up top to Galvez. Swing over to Smiskey. Smiskey tacks the rim back outside for Sakura. Sakura up top to Galvez. Now Smiskey, Jacoby defending him. Smiskey backs Jacoby in into the corner. The three from Galvez is short. Battle for the board, Mittermeier comes up with it. He attacks, he's fouled. Blake Jacoby will pick up the foul. On my book, I have second personal and maybe third for Jacoby. Okay, my book's not the official book. Keep track of the fouls as best as I can see them from here. 54-51, your score. In the corner here for Mittermeier. Mittermeier attacking the basket outside Sakura. Both teams now in straight up man-to-man -man defenses here in this second half. Have been the entire half. Left wing for Smiskey. Smiskey up top to Holm. Holm right wing three, Sakura wide open, it's short. Rebound, and Blake Jacoby steals it away. That was a heady play there by Jacoby. Come up with a steal after Galvez would have had an easy lay in. Charlie Moore wide open, corner three, it's good. Charlie Moore from downtown. He's got eight points in the second half, 13 total.
Kale Holm brings it up, swings it over here to Mittermeier. Now left wing to Sakura. Sakura attacks the basket. A wild finish, no good, but a blocking foul called on Blake Jacoby. And I have that as his third. I believe it is his third. Sakura to the line, 4 2. Knocks down the first. And again, that is the only downside of trying to draw so many charges. You put the referees in a spot where they have to make a call, and sometimes the call does not go your way. But 57 52 Columbus. Konechny brings it up the other way. Takes the screen from Becker. Konechny attacking the basket, finds Jacoby in the post inside. No good on the layup from Jacoby. And that time, Jacoby looks like a post player B boxing out or getting post position inside for his guard. Konechny comes up with a steal and transition layup. No good from Konechny. Battle for the board, and the Max have it. And both these teams just giving all-out effort right now. The end of this game. Mittermeier to the basket. Tough finish is good. What a shot there. The up and under from Cooper Mittermeier. With a mid-air up and under there. 57-54 Columbus, three minutes to play. This is anybody's game, and a turnover nearly. The Max come up with it. Mack and Emmett were just not on the same page. Jump ball, and that is Max ball. Again, a little confusing with Matt Konechny, and they are the McDonald Central Max. But it's McDonald Central basketball, and that time... Emmett, saw, Emmett Konechny thought Mack was going to stay in the corner. Instead, Mack cut to the basket. He nearly steals it right back, but pokes it out of bounds. And now McDonald Central can either cut it to one point or tie it on this possession. Holm to inbound. Holm gets it into Smiskey. Smiskey, left wing for Mittermeier. Mittermeier, Jacoby falls to the floor, and oh my goodness. Cooper Mittermeier with an ankle-breaking three. What a shot. And dribble move from Cooper Mittermeier. We're tied up. Foul, Emmett Kinnishny will head to the line for one and one free throws. If we were at Columbus right now, we would have a replay of that, but what a shot that was from Cooper Mittermeier. That was NBA-like. Leaving your defender in the dust and Nailing the three, Emmett Konechny knocks down the free throw. And again, that's another thing that happens when you attack the basket as Konechny did there. You make it a lot more likely that you're gonna get a foul call. And when you're in the bonus, those are easy points. Three points at the free throw line. The Dons lead it by two. We are in for an instant classic here tonight. Smiskey brings it up. Hands it off to Mittermeier. Mittermeier swings it over to Sakura. Sakura inside to Galvez. He has a shot blocked. He thought there was a foul call. Was there? Was there? There was no whistle at first. Coach Konechny's not happy because there was no whistle. And now we do have a call. And the foul goes on Cy Becker here. And again, that was an awkward... Second personal on Cy Becker, and it will be one and one free throws here as we try to sort the situation out. One and one free throws coming up for Carson Galvez. It was an odd. I don't know who this foul is on. Coach Connection, he doesn't seem happy. Well, let's see if we can get some on the court sound for him. All right, so it is what we thought it was to start. A foul on Cy Becker. I think originally they said 33. I think they got it mixed up with the, who was at the free throw line. But they did originally say Cy Becker. But again, it was odd because you never heard a whistle until after, until after Galvez bobbled the ball. But he misses the free throw. 
So for the Dons, no harm done. Charlie Moore brings it up. The Dons with a two-point lead now with two minutes on the clock. Moore up top. Elaine to the basket. He attacks. Has it blocked out of bounds. Don's ball. What a defensive play there by Kale Holm. Great play there by Holm to block Moore's layup from behind. Don's ball connection. He to inbound. Gets it into Becker. He's got a chance here, and he scores. Cy Becker at the basket, and he's feeling it. Cy Becker has got 12 points tonight on six for seven from the field. And they've all been at the basket. He hasn't attempted a three. Smiskey. Mittermeyer up top. Swing it over to Smiskey. Now in the corner for Holm. This is a four-point game. Holm back outside to Mittermeyer. Now up top for Smiskey again. The handoff here to Sakura. Moore defending Sakura. The Max need points here, it feels to avoid getting into a fouling match here. And Charlie Moore picks up really a bad foul there as Cooper Mittermeyer just continues to take a beating here tonight. Mittermeyer has just been knocked to the floor at least three times tonight. And he's just battling through. And he's going to have one-on-one -on -one free throws there. But if you're the Don, if you're, that, that's, that's not a great foul if you're Charlie Moore to give them their, maybe their best shooter, one of their best shooters, free throw chances here rather than playing straight up defense and he knocks down the first and not a great foul there but Mittermeyer to the line knocks down the first and knocks down the second as well back to a two point game a minute 26 left 61-59 Columbus leads McDonald looking to upset the number one ranked team in the state of Wisconsin for Division 5. Although with McDonald Central and how successful they are year to year, it's, it's hard to call it an upset, but for this season it is. Emmett Konechny attacks, kicks outside for Moore. Moore, Cy Becker in the corner. Don's going to be happy just to work the offense here until they get a layup or they get fouled. And Charlie Moore, timeout Columbus. We're going to take a quick break. Be back with the final 56 seconds after this on Zaleski Sports. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express Pros.com. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know um, what makes this place special. Come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come and to just to feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. It's a game down to the wire here for McDonald Central Catholic High School in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. The Columbus Dons lead the McDonald Central Max 61 to 59. Here in a in what's been a fantastic game tonight, the Dons have it. Really, if you're the Dons, you just got to not turn it over. Force McDonald Central to foul you, and they will foul Cy Becker. So it'll be up to Cy Becker at the free throw line to try to make this a four-point game. This is your Surf Pro Jamie Wenzel free throw line. Call Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Surf Pro, like it never even happened. Double bonus, and Becker knocks it down. Off front rim and good for Cy Becker. He has got 13 points tonight. It's been as balanced of a night as ever for the Don scoring wise. Cy Becker to make it a four point game, he does. Huge free throws there from Cy Becker. And if you're McDonald Central, you don't need a three here, but you feel pretty good if you could get one. Sakura, and luckily for them, they have been hitting threes here in this second half. Sakura attacks the basket. 
kicks outside for Mittermeier. Mittermeier, the floater, is short. Rebound for Cy Becker, and the Dons, Cy Becker's going to have a chance to close this game out, or come pretty close to it. 30 seconds is still a lot of time, but the Dons getting very close to scraping by with a win here tonight. If Cy Becker can knock down a couple of free throws here. And misses the first. Luckily, double bonus here for Cy Becker. Yeah, don't want to call this game too early. It's just a four-point game. Free throws still need to be made. And he makes the second. Five-point game now. Now it feels like if you're the max, you need a three with five points being the deficit. Mittermeier brings it up. Holm has not missed a three yet this half. He, they get it to him left wing. He tries a step back. That's a tough shot. No good. Too strong. Moore, the rebound, finds Konechny. And 13 seconds on the clock. Konechny's fouled. The Dons can hit these. This feels like it could be a Dons win. And this may be their toughest of the year. I would say it is. I would say this has been the Don's toughest win of the year if they do come out with it. And of course, they've got the one loss to Brookfield Academy. Emmett Konechny knocks down the free throw. Call Jamie Wenzel at Surf Pro for the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Surf Pro like it never even happened. Konechny goes two for two, a seven point Don's lead in. That may do it here, Mittermeier will bring it up. Tough three, the fadeaway no good offensive rebound. They might get it back out to Mittermeier. No, this time for Holm. Holm short on it. Another offensive rebound back out to Holm, and that will do it. The Columbus Dons come out with a nail-biting road victory here against the McDonnell Central Max here tonight. The Dons win it 66-59. to Coming up next is your Nasonville Dairy Post Game Show. Be sure to stay tuned for your post game show. I'll be down on the court live with Coach Konechny as well as our Highlight House player of the game from tonight. We'll take a break. Be back with your Nasonville Dairy Post Game Show. It's another Downs win back after this on Zaleski Sports. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. Nasonville Dairy actually goes back to 1885. We are the oldest plant in Wood County. When our father brought us here in the early 1960s, we ran 7,500 pounds of milk a day. We now run 1.8 million pounds of milk a day. We buy dairy milk from 200 dairy farmers here in central Wisconsin, produce it, and ship it all over the world. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fetacaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. This has allowed us to go to a lot of different countries. Our furthest accounts are now in China, Japan, Canada, Saudi Arabia. We do ship to Mexico, and as well as a number of other places throughout the world. This is what we call Cheese Making 101. We tried to walk you through the cheese plant today and we're in hopes that you see our people, what they're doing, and the amount of work that goes into producing the products that we hope you enjoy.
We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Good day, my name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafeteria, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey as well as making Edam, Gouda and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Hi, I'm Shad from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shy. Shy is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's gonna change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. Hey everybody, Nat over at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC, and we have a huge saving for you. Supplier pricing for everyone on all remaining 23 models. Over 50 to choose from. Stop on in and talk to one of our sales consultants today. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. <laughs> hey Mike, I'm Sheila from Security and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good. And they, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at StaubCO.com. Culligan Water delivers from your first call, to your first sip, to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite from the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year round. In a hurry, same great menu in the drive-thru, Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Twenty twenty three was a year of change, innovation, building something new, and teamwork. The H and S legacy is evolving, and we're carrying it forward, designing equipment that helps farmers get the job done, 
looking ahead to the future of farming while staying true to the values that have brought us this far and made us who we are today. H&S, strong heritage, strong people, stronger future. Bauer & Fine has been based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Bauer & Fine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. Give us a call, visit our website, we'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. Central Wisconsin Glass is Central Wisconsin's choice for your next new or remodeled shower and bathroom. The experts at Central Wisconsin Glass will effortlessly guide you through the design and installation process. Have the elegant and modern shower and bathroom you've been looking for. Call Central Wisconsin Glass at 715-387-8010. That's 715-387-8010. And Central Wisconsin Glass on Facebook for your residential, commercial, and vehicle glass Glass needs. All right, welcome back everybody to your Nasonville Dairy post game show. Nasonville Dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily. Get your cheese curds, Marshfield Curtis, or at NasonvilleDairy.com. Joined now by Columbus Downs head coach, Coach Konechny. And coach, that was maybe as tough of a win as you guys have had to kind of claw out on the road against, obviously, a story, a great program here in McDonald Central. But um, talk a little bit about that second half because McDonald Central came back, they took the lead on you guys, and then it really seemed like you guys started attacking the basket a lot. Cy was attacking the basket, Emmett was attacking the basket, Blake was attacking the basket. Um, maybe a similar question I kind of asked you the other night, was there that kind of adjustment there in that second half? Or, I mean, scoring-wise, it was similar points there for you guys. It was another team that played tough man-to-man -to -man defense, but offensively, what was kind of the, the game plan there? What would you guys do in that second half? I think Coach Schilling did a really good job of, of kind of going small, and when he went small, um, they got out better on shooters. Um, I thought we settled sometimes for contested threes, which didn't go in. Um, and you're right, in the second half, I thought a few guys especially really started attacking the basket, getting to the free throw line. Um, and on a night when we didn't shoot it particularly well after the first five minutes, uh, I thought we grinded out a win. And, and that's why you play McDonald. I think you, you know you're going to get, get tested, they're going to make adjustments, and, and your team's going to be better at the end of it. So we're very grateful to play this game. Yeah, and then um, coming, coming into this game here tonight, yeah, we knew no matter what the records were, it was going to be a, a tough game, as you said, with Coach Schilling and this, and this McDonald Central team. We're going to talk to Cy here in a second. Um, talk a little bit more about you know, what Cy kind of means to this team, because to me, he's, he seemed like your guys is, you got guys that are versatile and can do a lot of things, but Cy has really seemed like the guy that can finish at the rim and make, make, some, make some of those tough shots. And Just talk about what he means to this team and his, his role, what you look for him from him you know, on a night-in, night-out basis. Well, he's an athlete, and he's very unselfish, and I think uh, he's the kind of young man that can kind of fill in the holes. You know, if we need somebody to, uh, to play interior defense, he can do that. If we need him to knock down a three, he can do that. If we need him to get to the rim, he can do that. Tonight he made some uh, really big free throws. I think we were up two. Uh, he went to the line, made some big ones. Um, but he's kind of just a jack of all trades. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great high school athlete, to be honest with you. Three sports, just whatever it does, whatever I need to do to help the team win, and he does it, and that carries over into other people, and he's another one that we're really going to miss next year. Yeah, and at, you guys have played some of these really uh, tougher, grinded out kind of games to end this season, feeling more like postseason play, actually, some of these games um, where you've had to kind of adjust to man-to-man -man defense in the second half, kind of attacking the rim, and then defensively having to stifle down. Talk a little bit about, I guess, defensively what you guys did tonight and what you guys kind of have been doing, because I, I, I think I asked you a lot of questions about your offense, um, and rightfully so, you guys, you guys score a lot of points. But talk about you know, your defense, what you saw tonight, and what you've kind of been seeing as the season has moved along. Are you pleased with what you're seeing defensively? It seemed like tonight you got, I mean, you got the stops at the end of the game when you needed them. I think the second half was better. You know, they do a really good job of setting ball screens and then slipping anything to switch. So. Um, we, we got burnt a few times early second half and we tried to switch screens and, and they slipped it for a layup. Uh, once we stopped switching and fought through a little more and communicated early, I thought we were better. But you know, Coach Schillings is a great coach. Uh, his staff does a great job. He's got Coach Mittermeier, Coach Byrell. Um, you know, we were supposed to play this game November 30th um, when we had some stuff go on and we had to cancel it. And um, the way they were willing just to move the game later in the season to 
uh, let, let some things more important than basketball happen. Yeah. Um, says a lot about McDonald and it says a lot about Coach Schilling. I uh, utmost respect for that man and how he does things. So a lot of the things, you know, from basketball standpoint, we have difficulty with it's because of him. All right, thanks for your time, Coach. We'll see you in Colby. Thank you. Yeah. All right, now we're going to be joined by our Holly Dells player of the game, Cy Becker. And Cy, I'm going to have you do what Coach did there. He just snapped that onto his thing. You sweat, snapped that onto your jersey a little bit there. A little bit different tonight, uh, what we got what we got for a system there. Yeah, if you can just try to get there. you go. That'll work. That'll work. All right. So, Cy, that tough game tonight. I mean, you guys, I'm sure you knew that coming in. Uh, coming on the road against a team that just went to the state championship last season. Different team, but we know the, the story this, this kind of program has kind of had. Um, you guys had the lead by 10 points there in that first half. Second half, they, they, they played, start playing more man-to-man -man on you. Um, and the thing I noticed, thing I talked about on the broadcast, you guys started really attacking the rim there in that second half. Obviously, you guys got a reputation of shooting threes. You guys nailed threes, nailed threes. Um, that second half, you guys, I, I don't know if you, you, might, you may have taken one or two threes in the final six or seven minutes of that game. Talk about maybe, was that something you guys intentionally as players decided to do? Like we were going to go attack the basket more? Or especially from, from your perspective, being one of those guys that typically does that more anyways, what was kind of the adjustment there in the second half for that? I mean, it was just kind of something, like, we all kind of, we didn't say to each other, but we all kind of got, like, they were guarding the three ball really well, and we just had to focus on attacking the hoop, and it worked tonight. Yeah, and the last few games, it seemed like teams have, they might start out in zone against you guys, but it seems like they, they typically move to the, this tight man-to-man -man where they're trying to deny you guys these shots. How has that kind of been? Have you guys kind of felt like you, do you feel a need to, to I don't want to say prove that you can score at the rim, but I, it feels like you know teams are trying to figure out how to stop you guys, slow down your offense, and it seems like what teams are moving to is some of that the, uh, really trying to play tight man-to-man -man on you guys from the outside. Um, ha has, it been, has it been kind of an emphasis at all in practice or anything like that where you guys are feeling like you need to, you need to show that you can score at the rim to kind of get, get these teams off you so you can get some more open looks from three? Or kind of how has that been? Kind of, these last few games have been kind of tough, grinded-out games you guys have had to play. Yeah, um... In practice, we, we do work on finishing like, every, like daily, and so I mean we can do it. But obviously we're a three-point shooting team. But um, yeah, if when we need to drive, we'll do it. And the last few games, I mean we've grinded it out, but we still got the still got the dub. So. Yep, and as you said, you guys have grinded out a couple of wins here late in the season. They got a few conference games to try to seal up the conference title now, but. As the season kind of winds down, we're only a couple of weeks away now from postseason play starting. You guys have got a couple of tough, gritty wins here. How, where do you, how do you feel about the, where you guys are at right now in this season, how you guys are playing? Um, I think, I mean, record speaks for itself. Um, our team chemistry, obviously, through the roof. Uh, coach in the locker room has been saying, like, you got to cherish this time with the teammates. And, I mean, mo we're all, most of us are seniors, so we've all been playing up grade school at, all the way up to now, so we are all got that tight bond. Um, I think... We just got to keep grinding it out and, I mean, hopefully make it all the way, I guess. All right, last thing we're going to do is get you in the house. Right. I'm going to take my mic off. So if you don't have a microphone, I'll count you down and you just look up there and say right. it, okay? All right. All right. Three, two, one. I'm Cy Becker, and I'm in the house. All right, great job, man. Thank right. you. I'll take the mic from you. All right, thank, thank you. you. Yep. All right, I'll do the rest of the interview just holding this here. All right. That was Cy Becker, Holly House player of the game here tonight. The Columbus Dons get a seven-point win over the McDonald Central Max here tonight. Is, uh, maybe I want to turn this mic off. Might be confusing you guys up there a little bit, but um, the Dons get a tough win here on the road. And again, we knew we knew it was going to be this coming in. Uh, we knew it wasn't going to be a blowout game. The, the Dons started off with that 12-point early lead. And again, it was when McDonald Central was in that 2-3 zone. Quickly switched out of that. They started playing tough man-to-man. -man, and the Dons were able to grind that one out at the end of the game. And, and I think this, this game feels like a... It felt like a big game for the Dons to me just to... Again, they're the number one ranked team in Division 5. But a game where... Another game where a team was clearly trying to take away that three ball. The way that they just relentlessly attacked the rim there in that second half, I think, um, was pretty impressive to see. And, and the way that they kind of abandoned the three ball, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. They abandoned it and just said, we're going to take it to the basket. Um, a, a lot of guys in that starting five did that, and, and it worked out for them tonight. And they got the win over McDonald's Central in what felt like a playoff-type atmosphere and a playoff-type game here tonight. That's going to bring us to the end of our Nasonville Dairy postgame show. Nasonville Dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily. Go to nasonvilledairy.com. And that's going to bring us to the end of our broadcast here tonight. From myself, Kill Jacoby, alongside Isaac Eagle doing the production here tonight. Live from McDonald Central Catholic High School, I want to thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time on Zaleski Sports.